welcome to Roatan, Honduras. Guess we're being greeted by the Indies of maybe. Today we're in Honduras. Being greeted by drums. We're going on a three site snorkel. Yesterday our snorkeling got cancelled, so hopefully we don't find out it's cancelled again today. In Costa Maya, you just find the one that has the name of your thing on it and go wait in line for the bus. Eventually, your tour person takes you to your bus. This one looks like it's ours. Number five. It's our boat in the background. Well, here is the tiniest bus aisle ever. <laughs> you get to know everybody this way. <laughs> a fun day today, guys. I promise, okay? It's uh, definitely my job to keep you guys happy, but I want to make a deal with you guys today. I want you guys to be happy first so you guys can make me happy, okay? Our tour guide was very knowledgeable and funny, and he kept the ride very entertaining. Get your picture of my people, that's the shipwreck that I was talking about. A lot of slavery came back in the years, and that's where the guy that called us Rat Island came on. Oh, we got some horsies! Look at that, they're tiny horsies. We got a bottle of water. We got a weaver. Are you physically fit? No. The bathrooms is behind this blue building here. The fresh water showers is in the front of the bathroom. This one will be the Palapa Bar here. All of the chairs and all of the beach that you see here, guys, is included for you guys. Don't so be back when you start for the day. Everybody got your bottle of water, right? Yeah. On the way back, we also got a snappy included for you guys. The locker is going to be. Next, you take about a 15 minute ride out to the three different sites and you start snorkeling. The boat did not have a way to just get into the water from the boat. You had to drop in off the side, which I was not a fan of. Don't know if all the boats are like that, but this one was. The first site was where all the starfish were located and they were all just everywhere sitting on the bottom. It was really cool. Um, they don't move around much. <laughs> we didn't stay at this site very long, um, but it, you didn't need to be here that long. The starfish don't do very much and there's no coral reef or anything. It's just the starfish kind of separate themselves throughout the bottom of this area. The second site they took us to was a large coral reef. Uh, this is the area we spent the most time. Uh, in areas it was very shallow so you had to be very careful with your fins. In our case we didn't have fins on because we didn't know how to get into the water with them on. <laughs> so we were swimming without fins which I don't recommend. Don't do that if you can help it. But with, uh, with your fins on, you really have to be careful not to hit the coral reef and the shallow areas. And then later on, uh, as you keep going, you'll come to a very deep section. And this section at first scared me a little bit and you'll see that I'm kind of like struggling to stay away from the really deep, dark section because it is the tide was kind of pulling you toward it but it was really cool. It's probably the deepest um, 
snorkel I have ever done. The only disappointing thing about this was that there wasn't a whole lot of life. There's not a lot of fish. There's some, but not a whole lot. Um, you really have to get in really close and spend a lot of time, which we couldn't do. The tour guide had a flag. You had to follow him and he pretty much was never stopping. He was constantly going and you had to keep going. So you didn't get to spend a lot of time just kind of exploring, looking for fish, looking for life. And it also was a little scary at this point because the boat drives away and for a while you can't even see the boat anymore. So here you are out in the ocean and it's super deep and it, it's, it's, it's exciting. So if you have issues with water and swimming, maybe you don't want to do this excursion, but I highly recommend it. At first you might be a tiny bit scared, but once you get used to what you're doing, you do have a life preserver, so there's nothing to worry about. So definitely don't let that stop you.
The third snorkel site detour takes you to is the shipwreck and that was the one I was the most excited about because every time we've tried to book an excursion with a snorkel shipwreck it always gets cancelled for some reason so this was the first time we got to go on one that didn't get cancelled and uh, it was awesome swimming around the shipwreck this uh, was a shorter one and he went around the ship very quickly um, because I did not have fins on and I was having a hard time keeping up. I'm pretty sure I was last. I ended up not going the whole way around the ship. My husband did, but I did not. I made it about to one side and then realized I was never going to get caught up if I went the whole way around. So I decided to go back around the front end, which actually paid off because it was a much better view of the shipwreck than the back side that my husband went around. You could even hardly tell that it was a ship that you were going around from that view. From the instructions, I knew we were not allowed to swim over the ship, so either way I had to go around it, and uh, yeah, my footage was much better because you can actually tell that it's a ship. That was really cool, I loved it, and I hope to do more shipwrecks. Actually, we do at uh, Coco Cay. There's a shipwreck if you didn't know about it, and we finally made it out to that shipwreck as well. So stay tuned for the next video at Coco Cay, where we do make it out to the shipwreck. That's our chillaxing group there. Okay, okay. We got a conch shell right there, guys. So you. After the three sites, you get back on the boat and head back to the beach where you'll be given food and drinks. So it's a nice area. Um, we did get a little bit of rain, but that was okay because they did have big giant grass umbrellas. Pretty cool. Oh, that one's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We like 
Yum. <laughs> they have showers after you snorkel. Is it cold or warm? It's warm. Cool. Warm is good. Nice shady places to hang out. Or if you want to roast, you can also roast. Pretty awesome. Got a pina colada. And that got these two. Hopefully it's in frame because it's super dark. I can't see anything. Some interesting beers. So that was some pretty awesome snorkeling that we did out there. What do you think? It was the most extreme one because it was fast. We had to keep up with everybody. We didn't have uh, fins because well, I just couldn't figure out how to put them on in the water and I didn't want to lose them. But it was, it was probably the coolest uh, snorkel that was done. And we also did a shipwreck, finally. A real shipwreck. <laughs> you know, it gets canceled or something happens, so that was awesome. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit slower paced. That would have been nice. Of course, if I had fins, it w probably wouldn't have been as bad. After being at the beach for a little while, it's time to return. And we did take an extra stop to the highest peak on Ruritan. And then we traveled back to the port. Okay, my people, back again, safe and good at the port, just like how I promised you guys. <laughs> Buffalo and a quesadilla. They look, all look good. Give them a try. Looking for a leggy. That's what I prefer. It's a little small, but it's real tender. It comes right off the bone. And then we got pit sauce. <laughs> Yummy! And this is uh, right at the port, right off the boat. Like, we can just walk over there and get back off the boat. Monkey so, Lala. Monkey Lala. Monkey Lala. Do you like it? Here. Going back to the ship. Fancy a drink. 